In this video, I'm going to show you how to install throttle cables on your bike. If you haven't ordered cables yet, check out my video on how to measure and order cables from Magnum Shielding. If you're putting on some higher handlebars, or you're like me and you just want to upgrade to some high performance cables that look fantastic on the bike, then I hope this video helps. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give some more specifics about the product that I installed. The throttle and idle cables run from your throttle box, under your gas tank, and of course up to your throttle. First, you'll need to remove your air cleaner. There are a lot of different air cleaners out there, but they're all made up of similar components. You may have to remove a cover, and behind the cover and the filter, some more hardware attaching the mount to the throttle box. and then some breather bolts attached to the heads. Remove all of this to gain access to where the cables attach to the throttle wheel. The cables attach at the hand controls with a couple of zip ties under the gas tank and then attach to the throttle cam or throttle wheel on the throttle box. You don't need to remove your gas tank. I have a two inch tank lift on my dyna and I was able to gain access to the throttle cables without removing anything. If your tank is stock, what you may want to do is remove the front or rear bolt and then loosen the opposite so that you can pivot the tank up a couple inches to gain access to those zip ties. You can easily pop off the zip ties that attach the throttle to the frame, but you'll likely break them when you remove them but you can order replacement parts at Harley for a couple bucks, if you need them at all. You'll need to remove the two pinch bolts that hold the master cylinder and brake lever in place. Then also remove the two bolts that keep the hand controls and throttle together. Place a towel on your tank so you can rest the master cylinder and brake lever while you're working on the throttle. You can now roll back the rubber shielding to gain access to the throttle and idle cable adjusters. Release the lock nut and back off the adjusters as much as possible. This will give you the slack you need to remove the cables from their connection points. Turn the throttle a bit and it should give you plenty of slack to help remove the ferrule nut from the throttle grip. Then do the same for the other cable. Careful because these little buggers can get away from you. the throttle grip should now simply slide off. You now simply pull the cables straight down to remove them. It can be pretty tough, you just gotta put some muscle into it. You now go through the same process of removing the other ends of the cables that are attached to the throttle wheel. Before I began the process of installing the new cables, I zip-tied the two cables together very loosely. When installing new cables, I find it easier to start at the top and work my way down. 
Reinstall the throttle grip and attach the cables to the throttle grip, but leave the adjusters fully open for now. When you reattach all the hand controls, make sure they're at the same angle as the left hand controls. <clears throat> you can now start feeding the cables under the tank. Tighten down and attach any necessary zip ties. and then go to work attaching the other ends of the cables to the throttle wheel. If you lose track of which cable is which, the return or idle cable has a spring on the end that fits into the little plastic sleeve on the throttle box. With the throttle grip turned wide open, turn the throttle cable adjuster until the throttle wheel is wide open. Next, release the throttle grip and then turn the throttle cable adjuster counterclockwise an additional half or full turn. Then you can lock the jam nut against the cable adjuster. Now tighten the idle adjuster counterclockwise until the cable housing just touches the spring in the cable guide in through the slot. Lock the jam nut on the idle cable and that's a wrap. The braided lines look awesome, but the hardware and fittings that Magnum makes are a major upgrade over stock. Their cables are 100% compatible with Harley Davidson and they make cables for most models. They offer several different colors to match whatever you have on your particular bike. But what I installed in this video is called their Black Pearl color. I love the new cables, so thanks to Magnum for sending them out to me. I'm going to follow this video up with an installation guide on a brake line real soon, so keep your eye out for that. As usual, I'm Chainsaw from Greta City Riders. Thanks for watching.